Mark, the last time legislators were here was in the spring, and since then there's been a lot of criticism about two recently passed laws, the reform bills for police and that forced long-term care savings account that's going to hit most paychecks out there. Lawmakers in both parties say that reforms are coming, but one thing that's not going to change, most of the work, at least early on, will be done remotely. Lawmakers are back in Olympia, at least some of them. Four Democratic senators said they would start the session working from home after testing positive for COVID. Senators Andy Billig, John Lovick, Mark Mullet, and Yasmeen Trudeau. And one seat remains unfilled. Longtime Republican Senator Doug Erickson died last month after contracting COVID. Our hearts are heavy with his passing. In even years, legislators take part in what are considered short sessions, 60 days. But they have a long to-do list this year. Speaker of the House Lori Jenkins says lawmakers are expected to delay the start of the state's controversial Washington Cares Fund, which calls for automatic paycheck withdrawals for long-term care. They're looking to allow more people to opt out. We want to hold on to the program. It's really important that people not have to spend themselves into poverty in order to get long-term care in this state. The speaker also says to expect some of the restrictions passed on law enforcement last year to be scaled back after pushback from police. The thresholds for police chases and use of force may be lowered. Did the state, did Democrats go too far with those measures last year? You know, anytime you're going to uh, pass really sweeping legislation, you always have to come in and perfect it, find, find the right balance. So I think that's what we're trying to do this year. Oh, they absolutely went too far. And the problem was that the legislature wasn't functioning the way that it was supposed to. Minority House Leader J.T. Wilcox fears another remote session may keep people from being involved in the process at a time when his party is pushing for tax cuts, even a possible sales tax cut. Never say never. I've been surprised before, and this is something where the, the public might make an impact if uh, they provide the maximum amount of input. For at least the first two weeks, most debate and all public testimony will be done via Zoom, which on the first day of the second COVID session is still causing problems. Senator Honeyford, how do you vote? Oh, crap. That's probably not a legitimate vote. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Senator I didn't Hunter. realize I was on. I have trouble getting in. Uh, I vote aye. Folks on both of the aisle could agree that that was funny. One serious note here on the first day of the legislative session, we already know one bill is dead. That was a bill that would have reduced the penalty for those convicted in drive-by shootings. Live in Olympia, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.